well, we're going to start, though, because zero points, 0 for 10, uh, 0 for 6 from 3. First game without a made field goal. This is not when you want to do it. Since his rookie season and afterwards, Steve Kerr said that they, they need him back. Um, this is obviously now the beginning of what happens to Clay Thompson. So what are we hearing? Klay Thompson is very open to seeing his marketplace in free agency. We've discussed it. We've talked about it. The Warriors offered him an extension before the season, two years, $48 million. He declined it. He believes at that point, and I think still as the years have gone, gone on, that he is worth more, deserves more. I'm told his free agency is going to be about respect. It's going to be about principle as far as where he stands in that war Warriors organization for championships. He's come back from an ACL injury. Mm -hmm. He's come back from an Achilles injury. And because of what he's done, feeling like he's deserving, um, and, and he's, he has a lot of thinking to do this summer, he's going to have interest in the marketplace. Like, there's going to be teams that gonna, are going to want Clay Thompson. <laughs> you look at his second half of the season, though, 19 points a game, 45% yeah. from the field, uh, almost 42% from three-point range. It's going to be the hardest call in his life to make if he does end up finding another spot to leave as far as calling Steph Curry, calling Draymond Green, <clears throat> calling them and saying, I'm gone. But he is going to be open to testing the market. This is going to be weird, you, man. Free agency usually comes down to one thing and one thing only, Shams. It's not respect. It's not. It's, it's money. And money. He, and he maybe he thinks he deserves well, that's more money than the, than the franchise thinks he does. And he did show flashes this year that he still can I play. Know. He still can explode and have big games. He's healthy. And to go through the injuries and the recovery that he has gone through to get back to this level is super impressive. So I do think there's a smaller market team out there that is going to throw him a lot more money than Mike Dunleavy and the Warriors are prepared to do. So I Is do. he regretting turning down that 248? Uh, I don't think so because I think he will end up getting more than really? that or a longer okay. deal this summer. I, I really do. And I think he deserves that. He's a huge name. He's going to bring in a lot of different – to a team like Orlando, for example. I know we keep talking about that. <laughs> that is exactly what that franchise needs. They're a team on the rise. He's a great locker room guy. He's a great vet. He provides them shooting that they just have never had. Hmm. Um, so I do love it, and I hate that we're even opening up with his bad game because this is one it game was... of his entire oh. legendary he, he, Hall of Fame He had Fame a big-time second half of the season. He did. So he's put himself in position to go, and, and again, this is respect with him and his team and his franchise. It would be very weird to see him on another team because it just wouldn't – he's one of those guys. that It makes sense that he finished his career. Yeah. But at the end of the day – Players have a short window to make the most money possible. Let's be honest. And, and he has that opportunity now to go and get another bag. Go get it if the Warriors don't want to pony up. Uh, it just it, – it was hard to watch last night, and we're gonna, we'll talk about this game obviously a lot, but it was just the clay part of it, the, the body language, the moment you realize they knew that this was done. Like, I don't know. If you're, if you're Clay Thompson, do you really want to leave Golden State? Or do you need the fresh start? Maybe it's a need thing at this point, Lou. Yeah, I, I think he's going to take a look um, this offseason and really, really have a, 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 like, this looks like the end. Like how he's, <laughs> of course sad. it looks like Yeah, the end. how he's soaking everything in. Like, he, I think he understands that this may be an end of an era and he's going to have to weigh his options. You know, it's either going to come down, um, in my opinion, it's going to come down to a, a pay cut. It's going to be a deal that, that probably um, wasn't there for him at the beginning of the season at a, at a lower number, or he's going to go get the money somewhere else I hate this I hate to see this team um this dynasty come to an end in, in such a fashion for Clay um with the things that he's been able to accomplish with this group but you know I, I think he has his future somewhere else and it's yeah. interesting because he's could be a free agent and he can go and get a bag somewhere else but they also can move some other they also can try sure. and get off Draymond they also Chris Paul is probably coming to an end soon so there's also there's other ways they could do to keep him while making it kind of mutually beneficial for both him and the franchise.